I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs into Skibbity Toilet. The first character I'll make is a regular toilet, and I'm gonna use a villager. You'll see why in a second. First, let's delete all this stuff because we don't need it, and then we'll turn this cube into the bottom of the toilet. Let's color it white, and then we'll start making the toilet more circular. Now let's expand these walls up a little bit more, and we'll put some blue toilet water inside of the bowl. Now let's use the villager head as the head. I'll obviously fix the texture later, and I'll just make the back of the toilet like this, and I'll also make the toilet seat in front of it as well. Now let's color all this in and we'll fix the villager head texture now let's put a little flush button on the back like this and now our toilet is pretty much done i just have to add an animation for this guy just like in the actual series and yeah that looks pretty good let's add it to the game this is how the skibbity toilet looks in game it honestly looks really good the only real problem i see is this weird spot on the neck here but that doesn't really matter in the actual series when a toilet dies there's a flush animation so i added that to this toilet as well oh yeah he also drops cocoa beans when he dies those are definitely cocoa beans. The Skibbity Toilet is also hostile towards players because a player is technically a cameraman. This is what happens when you don't subscribe. You get chased by toilets. Overall, I think the Skibbity Toilet turned out pretty good, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Now, obviously our toilets need an enemy other than me, so next I'm gonna make a cameraman. And I'll use a zombie since zombies hate villagers. We'll start by making a little shoe down here, and now we'll start to give him a leg. Now let's copy the leg over to the other side, and now let's work on his body. I'm gonna give him some long arms like this. And now I'm gonna start to shape the camera on his head. Let's just put some walls around the lens like this. And then we'll give him the headphones that he wears as well. Now it's time to color this guy in. Let's start by coloring the edges of the camera. And then we'll color some parts of his suit black. And now let's just add some details to his suit as well. The cameraman I'm looking at also seems to be wearing a coat. So let's give him that as well. Now let's just add a little bit of texture to him. And I think that looks good. Let's add him to the game. This is our cameraman in game. He actually looks pretty cool. Okay, I don't really know why he doesn't stop walking. That's a problem. Okay. Okay, I fixed the walking issue by giving him this idle animation, and he also has another animation, which is this thumbs up animation. I've been told it looks like something else though. Obviously, the cameraman and the skibbity toilets naturally fight each other, and the fight is actually really even. Come on, cameraman, you can win this. Oh yeah, I made the cameraman drop a command block, because I didn't know what to give him. You can also watch a fight from inside the cameraman, since he's a cameraman. This is definitely not just a feature that exists for every mob. I decided to give the cameraman a 6 out of 10. I know I'm supposed to be on his team, but I don't like him as much as the toilet. Next, I'll make a strider toilet. And let's use a spider, because he kind of looks like a spider. First, let's remove everything except his legs, and we'll copy the old toilet on top like this. Now we can give the old toilet some texture again. And now let's make it so he only has three legs. Okay, that looks pretty good. Next, we can add an extra limb to each side of the legs so that they can bend. And we'll just repeat that on each side. Now this looks pretty good, but the strider toilet is kind of dirty and broken, so we have to add that too. So let's just add a black spot down here, and we'll make the entire toilet see black and also make it look like it's oozing. And now we can change the villager's face. I want to give him some big eyes, so first we'll do that. And now we'll just give him a creepy mouth. And we'll also just give him some shading on his head. And that looks kind of cursed, but that's what we wanted. Let's see him in game. This is the spider toilet in game. He kind of looks like the Joker. The spider toilet is also insanely fast compared to the other mobs, which doesn't really help him look less scary. Like, look at him chasing me. This is almost a horror mod. The strider toilet is also a lot stronger than a regular toilet, as he's able to take on two cameramen at the same time. Only one player, though. He definitely didn't almost kill me. Oh yeah, I also made it so you can ride him, because you can ride an actual Strider, so it made sense. I think I'm going to give the Strider toilet a 7 out of 10, just like the regular toilet, because he isn't any more interesting. But the mobs are about to get more interesting, because next I'm gonna make the Titan Speaker Man. And I'm using a Vindicator, because they also hate villagers. First, I'm going to use the same leg I made for the cameraman, and just copy it here. And then we'll change the shape of his body a bit, and give him some better looking arms. Now let's start to color what we have, so so far. We'll make the pants dark gray, just like on the cameraman, and then we'll color the shoes black as well. Now we'll just color his arms and chest red for now, and then we'll work on making his speakers. I'm gonna make the speakers with no texture first to see how they look, and I think that's some pretty good speakers, so let's just color them all black. And now we'll start to add the actual speaker parts with the red ones first, and we'll also add a few gray ones as well. Now we can make the red thing that comes out of his chest like this, and we'll also add his plasma blaster on the side of his arm. Now we'll just add some texture all around him to make him look a little bit nicer, and and that's the Titan Speaker Man complete. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the Titan Speaker Man in game. He's definitely a little bit bigger than a cameraman. I also decided to give him a boss bar so you know that he's a big deal. If any type of toilets get within range of the Titan Speaker Man, he shoots powerful plasma bombs at them. You can tell they're really powerful because he almost died from his own attacks. If the Titan Speaker Man does manage to die, he will drop a note block. And I would play the Speaker Man song right now, but I don't really want to get copyrighted. The Titan Speaker Man is honestly my favorite mob right now, and because of that, we're going 
to give him a 9 out of 10. But it turns out the Titan Speaker Man got infected, so let's make that next. I used a Wandering Trader as the base, but that doesn't really matter because we've already made the Titan Speaker Man. We just have to add a few details to make him infected, like this yellow light instead of red, and we'll also add some blue stuff to show he's infected. Okay, never mind, we'll get rid of that. This is the Infected Speaker Man in game. It was honestly kind of hard to tell the difference between the two, so I added these particles to make him look infected. Oh yeah, and there's also a different boss bar as well, but no one is looking at that anyway. One difference between the Infected and regular Speaker Man is that the Infected one can fly. I don't know if he's supposed to be able to do that, but it definitely makes their fight more interesting. Their fight also makes no sense because there can't be two Titan Speaker Man at once. Okay, the Infected Speaker Man is way too OP because he can fly. I'm going to give the Infected Speaker Man a 9 out of 10 as well because they're basically the same thing. Next, I'll make the TV woman, and I'm going to use a witch to make her. Let's remove all this stuff, and now we can make the bottom of her leg. Let's color her shoe black, and then we'll add the top half of her leg as well. Now we can copy the leg over to the other side, and next let's work on her body. First, I'm gonna make her a bit taller, and let's put her arms behind her back. Now we can color her shirt black, and we can also change the shape of her arms. And now that looks pretty good, but obviously we have to change this head. So let's make it into the shape of a TV like this, and we'll color this outside part dark black. Now let's color the inside a light shade of blue, and next we can give her some antennas. Now finally, let's just add some texture all around her body, and I think that looks really good. Let's add her to the game. This is how the TV woman looks in game. She actually looks really good. I also don't know if you noticed, but I made her switch between nothing and the face she does every few seconds. The TV woman has less health than the Titan Speaker Man, but her attack is much faster. This means that when they fight, it's actually kind of close. It also means she can take out a bunch of toilets at once, and they literally can't do anything. I also made the TV woman teleport away when she gets low on health, just like how she teleports in the actual series. She doesn't really teleport that far away, but that's so the fight remains fair. If you kill the TV woman, she drops a piece of glass from her TV screen, which is pretty useless, but it makes sense. And she also makes witch noises all the time, which is kind of funny. I'm going to give the TV woman a 10 out of 10. I think she turned out really good. Next, I'm going to make the G-Man toilet. And since I used a villager for the regular toilet, it only makes sense to use an iron golem for this one. Let's start by deleting everything except the head, and now let's paste the head onto a toilet body like this. Now, obviously, the G-Man toilet isn't the same color as the regular toilets, so let's just color them in. And now this is a pretty good base, so let's start adding some detail. The G-Man toilet has these orange glasses, so let's just give them to our iron golem as well. And we can also add the headphones he wears as well. Now let's just make the bottom of the toilet more reinforced, and we're also gonna add the dark gray shields he has all around his body like this. And that is looking pretty good. Now let's add his lasers. The G-Man toilet has six lasers in total, so that's how many I added on our toilet as well. Now for some final details, let's add some more reinforcement to the back of the toilet, and we can also add some texture to the accessories we just gave him. And we're done with the G-Man skibbity toilet. Let's add him to the game. This is the G-Man toilet in game. He is definitely the biggest mob we've made so far. The G-Man toilet is also by far the most powerful mob we've made so far. He's basically able to insta-kill the TV woman and the Titan speaker man doesn't do much better against him either. I thought that I could take out the G-Man toilet, but it also didn't go well for me either. He is too good. If you kill a G-Man toilet, he drops a totem of undying because I didn't really know what to make him draw. I also like how he makes an iron golem sound when you hit him. It actually fits him. Honestly, the G-Man toilet is one of the best looking mobs I've made so far, and because of that, I decided to give him a 10 out of 10. The only problem is that he's too powerful. We need someone that's able to beat him. So next, I'll make the Titan TV man, and I'm gonna use a Ravager because that's the most powerful villager hating mob. So first, let's just get rid of this random stuff, and we'll also rearrange his body parts so they are more TV man shaped. Now we can give him some legs like this, and we'll color his pants and shoes black. Now let's give him his body, and we'll also use this to give him some arms as well. And now we'll also give him some hands like this, and now it's time to give him his TV head. Let's make the black outlines first, and then we'll just give him a blue screen in the middle. The Titan TV man appears to be wearing a coat, so I'm going to give him one of those as well. And now let's just give his clothes a little bit of texture like this, and we'll add the purple thing that glows in the middle of his chest. Now finally, let's just add these purple things that come off his back, and that is our Titan TV man. Let's see him in Minecraft. This is how the Titan TV man looks in game. He's honestly not as intimidating as I thought. Don't let that trick you though, because he's definitely the most powerful mob yet. Okay, there might be a slight problem with his walk. I feel like it shouldn't look like that. Similar to the TV woman, I made it so his face changes every few seconds. I also made it so he teleports away when he gets low as well, although I don't think that's happening. This is what happens when the Titan TV man fights the G-Man toilet. I don't think the toilet had any chance. Maybe like five of them could kill him. Nope, not even five of them can do that. I decided to give the Titan TV man an 8 out of 10. Even though he's really powerful, I don't think he looks as good as the others. Next character I'll make is the Titan Cameraman, and I'm gonna use the Warden to make him. 
First, I'm gonna give him a leg from the cameraman we made last time, and then I'm just gonna remove all this stuff that we don't need. Now, let's copy his leg over to the other side, and we'll just shape his body to match his legs a little bit more. Now, let's just change the shape of his legs a little bit, and I'm gonna color in his pants and shirt black for now. The Titan cameraman's arms obviously aren't this big, so let's give him some new arms, and let's just give him some fingers as well. Now, let's just copy this thing over to the other side, and now we can work on adding his head. First, let's start to make the main camera like this, and we'll give him a little lens in the middle as well. And now let's just add some detail to the side like this. And we'll also put some of those things sticking up on the top as well. And I think that looks pretty good. Now let's start to give him some more detail. First, I'm gonna give him a belt like this. And then I'm gonna add his coat that he's wearing right here. And of course, we're gonna give him his core in the middle as well. And now let's just add these things that he has on his back. And I'm also gonna add some texture to him like this. And I think he looks pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is the Titan cameraman in game. He actually looks really good. Look at him hard at work, recording yes, everything sir. in sight. The Titan cameraman is really strong, and he is able to destroy the G-Man toilet. Well, sometimes, and sometimes he just decides to not hit him. I guess he's just being fair. The Titan cameraman also has a ranged attack, but for some reason he only uses it when he's already meleeing, which makes no sense. But I'm not fixing it, because it would probably make him way too OP. Subscriber, the Titan cameraman will mistake you for a toilet. If you do kill the Titan cameraman, he drops a spyglass, which is probably the closest thing to a camera in Minecraft. It's a lot better than a command block, at least. I'm going to give the Titan cameraman an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good, but his fighting isn't the best. Now that we've made all the Titans, it's time to upgrade them, so next I'm gonna make the upgraded Titan speaker man. Let's take the Titan speaker man that we made last time, and we'll start by expanding his arms out and getting rid of his belt. Next I'm gonna add these things that attach to his speakers like this, and we'll just do the same thing on the other side as well. The upgraded Titan speaker man has a bright red eye, so I'm going to add that as well, and we'll also make his core the same color so it looks a bit brighter. Now let's just copy his plasma blaster over to his other arm as well. And next I'm going to add these shields that he has over his ankles. The upgraded Titan speaker man also has some speakers on his chest, so I'm gonna add those right here. And now I'm just gonna add these antenna shaped things on the top of his head. Finally, I want to give the Titan speaker man a jetpack. So let's just add a cube like this. And I'm gonna add a bunch of smaller cubes as well. And I think this looks really good. Let's add him to the game. This is the upgraded Titan speaker man in game. This guy is actually massive. He's also moving really fast and I'm not quite sure how that happened. The upgraded Titan Speaker Man is pretty much the same as the regular Titan, except he's way more powerful. Well, he isn't actually that much more powerful, he just shoots faster. If you kill an upgraded Titan Speaker Man, he drops a pig step music disc, and I'm not really sure why, I just picked a random music disc for him to drop, and that was the one. But I don't think you're gonna kill this guy, because he has way too much health. I think I'm going to give the upgraded Titan Speaker Man a 9 out of 10. I honestly really like how he looks in-game. Next, I'm going to make Cinema Man, and I'm gonna start by using using the Titan TV man from last video. First, let's make his body a little bit wider like this, and next I'm gonna give him a new and improved jacket. Now let's just color his pants a bit darker, and we'll also make his head a little bit wider as well. I'm also going to lift up his head a little bit and give him a neck, and now it's time to start adding the speakers on his body. I'm going to start by making the helicopter speakers first. So let's just draw in a helicopter blade like this, and we're gonna copy this to the other side so he has one on each shoulder. Now it's time to give him the massive speaker on his chest. So first I'm gonna make a black box like this, and then I'm gonna copy the speaker part nine times to match the actual speaker. Now let's just change up his coat a little bit more, and we'll add these things that he has on the side of his arms like this, and finally I'm going to give him a jetpack on his back. And that's the Cinema Man complete. Let's see him in the game. This is how Cinema Man looks in game. He looks way better than the regular Titan TV Man. Oh yeah, he also does the face thing. I forgot about that. I ended up nerfing the Cinema Man's damage because the Titan TV Man was way too OP, and now he's just a little bit better than the G-Man toilet. Well, that is if they hit each other, of course. I also fixed the Cinema Man's walk animation so it doesn't look weird like the Titan TV Man did. And overall, the Cinema Man is just an upgraded version of the Titan TV Man. Because that's what he's supposed to be. Oh wait, I just noticed there's a couple bites taken out of the back of his head. I'm not really sure how that got there. Other than that, I think the Cinema Man turned out pretty good, so I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the upgraded Titan Camera Man. So, let's just take the Titan Camera Man that we made earlier, and the first thing we'll do is make his arms a little bit bigger. Now let's change his jacket a bit and make it go all the way down to the middle of his legs. And next we'll add the shields that he has around his knees. Now let's add the thing that goes around his core right here. And we'll also add this gray piece which might be from his shirt. I'm not even sure. Next we'll give him some slightly different looking hands like this. And now it's time to add some details to his head and shoulders. First we'll add the cannons that he has on his back like this. And next let's add some of the upgrades that he has on his cameras up here. I'm also gonna add the red light on the very top as well. And next I'm gonna give him a jetpack so let's make the 
first part of it like this. And we'll just rotate these parts out a little bit. And we'll also add some blue ones as well. And finally, let's add a little bit more texture to him. And I think he's looking good. Let's add him to the game. This is how the upgraded Titan cameraman looks in game. This guy actually looks really good. I will say there is a little bit of a problem on the back of his arm though, but you can barely notice it. The Titan cameraman is able to fly, which I thought was a good idea, but I think he's going a little too high up. Okay, I stopped him from being able to fly, and now he's a lot better. The upgraded Titan cameraman is a little bit stronger than the regular Titan cameraman, and this time his ranged attack actually works. He also has a thumbs up animation just like the regular cameraman, but this time I actually gave him a thumb so it isn't mistaken for anything else. The upgraded Titan cameraman is fire resistant just like in the actual series, and if you do kill him he drops the same thing as the regular Titan cameraman because I'm on original. Overall, I think the upgraded Titan cameraman turned out really good, so I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Now that we have all these upgraded titans, they need some competition, so next I'll make the upgraded scientist toilet. And I'm gonna use a skeleton for him because he looks really old. So let's just remove his whole body because we'll only need his head. And I'm just gonna copy the toilet that we used for the G-Man onto him like this. Let's just get rid of all the G-Man upgrades and we'll color the toilet a light brownish color just like we did for the G-Man. Now let's give him some toilet water so you can't see into the bowl. And we're going to give him a neck like this. The scientist toilet seems to be wearing glasses, so let's just give him some of those. And we'll also put the red spot that he has on the left part of the glasses as well. The scientist toilet is wearing the upgrades that Cinema Man used to have on him, so we're going to add those next. First, I copied the main speaker from Cinema Man and put it on the front like this. And then I copied the two helicopter speakers and put them on each side as well. Next, we'll just make the back part of the toilet a little bit bigger as it's kind of small right now. And I'm just gonna add these gray things that he has on his back as well. Alright, now we need to give the scientist toilet his arm, so I'm going to start making an arm like this. And I'm actually gonna color this lighter gray, it's too dark. Now let's copy this arm onto the other side, and I'm just gonna rotate the arm like this to make it look a little bit nicer. Now finally I'm gonna add this light thing on the side of his head right here, and I think that looks pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the upgraded scientist toilet in game. This guy is by far the biggest mob we've made. And he's not just the biggest mob, but he's also one of the coolest, as he's able to hover on the ground instead of walking. The upgraded scientist toilet is insanely powerful. This is what he does to a regular titan speaker man. He literally didn't even have a chance. Now let's try the upgraded titan speaker man. That wasn't much better. It's probably going to take a combined attempt from all the titans to take this guy out. Come on titans, you can do it. Okay good, they managed to kill him. If they didn't, he would have been way too OP. I also made the scientist toilet drop a brewing stand when you kill him because that's science I guess. I don't really know. And if you look closely, you can see that he shoots through the red part of his glasses because I'm pretty sure he's supposed to do that. I'm going to give the upgraded scientist toilet a 10 out of 10. I'm pretty sure this is my new favorite mob so far. He looks really good. Next, I'm gonna make the parasitic skibbity toilet. And I'll use a silverfish because that's the closest thing to a parasite. First, let's get rid of all this stuff. And we'll just start to make the shape of a toilet like this. Now let's color the toilet a backroomsy looking color. And we'll add this rectangle part that comes up from the back. Actually, I'm gonna change the color a bit. It's way too yellow. Next, I'm gonna add a long neck for the head like this. And now we're just gonna give him a villager head just like the regular toilet. Next, let's change his face a little bit to make him look more like the parasite toilet. And let's add the little pipe thingy on the top of the toilet like this. Now it's time to start adding some texture all around the toilet like this. And now let's start to give him some legs. And we'll copy these legs over to the other side like this. And now let's just rotate them a bit so they point more outwards. And I think that's a pretty good parasite toilet. Let's add him to the game. This is how the parasite toilet looks in game. This guy is way too tiny. And because he's so small, he's also really fast, which makes him kind of scary to get chased by. There are two sizes of parasite toilets, small and large. And I know the large one is supposed to look different. I just didn't feel like making the other version. If a large parasite toilet bites a titan speaker man, he will turn infected, and if a small parasite toilet bites a cameraman, it will infect him as well. I also added an infected version of the upgraded titan speaker man, but there's a very small chance that he gets bit before killing the parasite. The parasite toilets are also able to be deployed by the upgraded scientist toilet, which I actually think is a pretty cool way for them to spawn. Overall, the parasite toilet turned out pretty good, other than this weird spot on the side that I'm not sure how to fix, so I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Next, I'll make a regular speaker man. And I'm gonna use a vex to make him, cause that's a villager hating mob. First, let's take a leg from the cameraman like this, and we'll just move these body parts for now, cause they are definitely in the wrong place. Next, let's color the speaker man's pants a light gray like this, and now it's time to add his body. First, let's expand the body out to make it a lot bigger like this, and then we'll start to give him some arms as well. Now, let's also give him some fingers at the bottom of his arms, and now we'll just color all of this in for now. I'm gonna add the speaker man's jacket next, so let's work on that, and now it's time to give him a head. We'll start by giving him a neck first so his speaker isn't floating, and now we'll shape the head 
head into a speaker. And let's just color the speaker a little bit darker than his suit. And we're gonna give him the actual speaker part in the middle like this. Okay, now that we have a speaker head, let's give him some headphones. And let's also put the headphone band at the top like this. And now I'm gonna give him some extra texture all around his suit like this. And I'm also gonna give him a tie and a belt on his shirt. Alright, I think this guy looks pretty good. It's time to add him to the game. This is our speaker man in game. He definitely looks a lot better than I expected. Okay, what is up with all the speaker men being so fast? I swear I don't know how this is happening. The regular speaker man has the same strength level as a regular cameraman, which means the only thing he can really kill is the regular toilet. But the speaker man doesn't actually kill the skibbity toilets. Instead, he just sits on top of them, just like in the actual series. It is kind of weird though, because the head doesn't disappear. The regular speaker man is also able to do the speaker man dance if you right click him, and this is probably one of my favorite features I've made so far. It looks so funny. If you kill a speaker man, he drops a jukebox, which pairs really well with the pig step disc from earlier. Or you can use it to play my favorite music disc, which drops from the infected upgraded titan speaker man as well. Overall, I think the speaker man is one of my favorite mobs so far, so I'm gonna give him a 10 out of 10 as well. The dance is just too good. Next, I'll make a large speaker man. And since I used a vex for a small speaker man, I'm gonna use an evoker for the big one. First, let's delete all this stuff. And next, I'm gonna use the regular speaker man's leg, but I'm just gonna make it bigger. Now, let's copy the leg over to the other side. And we'll just shape his body so it fits his legs. Now, let's color his legs black for now. And we'll color in his white shirt on the top as well. Okay, now that's looking pretty good. Let's start to give him some arms. And we'll just copy this over to the other side. Now, let's color the arms the same color as his shirt. And we're going to give him some long fingers as well. And now, it's time to add his head. So, let's just color the speaker in dark black. And we'll add the first speaker part in the bottom middle like this. And let's just add a few more of these and also color around them a bit. And now, it's time to add a few more details like this belt down here. And we're also going to give him some texture as well. And I think that looks really good. Let's see him in game. This is the large speaker man in game. He is definitely a lot larger than a regular speaker man. And just like the regular speaker man, you can make this guy dance as well. Although it looks kind of broken because I just copied it from the original speaker man. The large speaker man is a lot more powerful than a regular speaker man by far. He is actually so powerful that he's able to one shot himself with his own attack. I also made it so his attack animation looks kind of like a punch because it was supposed to be for his melee attack. The only problem is that he only uses his ranged attack so it's useless. If a large speaker man dies, he drops a cat music disc because some of the other ones drop music discs so I decided to just do that. And honestly that's all there really is, he's just a large version of the speaker man. I think I'm gonna give the large speaker man a 9 out of 10. I like how he looks but I don't think he's better than the regular speaker man. Next I'm gonna make a large cameraman and I'm gonna use a pillager because we haven't used that yet. So let's just remove a few of the things we don't need. And I'm mainly gonna use the same body as the large speaker man, so let's add the legs first. And we'll just color them in all black like this. And now let's copy over the large speaker man's body. And we'll just color this black for now as well. And now let's just copy over the arms from the large speaker man as well. And we'll color these in just like we colored in the other parts before. Alright, now it's time to turn this head into a camera. So first we're gonna make the lens part of the camera like this. And we'll add the film part coming off the back like this. And now let's just add a few more details. And we'll color the front part of the camera black. And now let's color the back part a similar color. And we're gonna color the film a lighter gray so it stands out. And now that looks pretty good. So next we need to add the detail to his shirt. I'm gonna start by adding a tie like this. And then I'm gonna add a coat on the top because all the cameramen wear these long coats. And now I'm just gonna add a bit of texture around his body like this. And I think that looks good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the large cameraman in game. He kind of reminds me of the large speaker man. I won't lie, his legs going through his coat like this looks kind of weird. But other than that, he looks pretty good. I also made the large cameraman noticeably shorter than the large speaker man because he's supposed to be the shortest out of the large variants. The large cameraman has more health and does more damage than a regular cameraman, but I decided to make it so he only melees, unlike the large speaker man. It's probably for the better though, as we saw what happened before. In the series, the large cameraman has a baton which he uses to stun toilets, so I made it so he drops a stick when he dies, which is supposed to be a baton. The large cameraman also stuns low-level toilets when he hits them, which is supposed to act as the baton shocking them. Like usual, I gave the large cameraman a thumbs up animation, and this time there's absolutely no possible confusion because I made his arm bend. Overall, I don't like the large cameraman as much as the speaker men, so I'm gonna give him a 7 out of 10. Next, I'll make a TV man, and I'm gonna use an enderman because the TV man teleports. First, we'll change the shape and size of his legs because they were a little big, and now let's color this in and we'll also give him some shoes. Now, let's add the top part of his legs like this, and now it's time to make his body. The TV man wears a large trench coat, so we're gonna add that over top as well, and now it's time to change the shape of these arms, and we'll also rotate it a bit like this, and now let's just give him some fingers like we've done for the other mobs. Okay, now that's looking pretty good, it's time to add his head. First, I'll make the black 
black outlines that go around the TV screen, and then I'll add the bluish screen that the TV man has on the inside. And I think that's pretty good, let's just add a few more details. First, let's add some buttons on the front of the coat like this, and we'll just make some parts a little bit darker like this as well. And now finally, we'll just add a little bit more texture over the top, and I think that looks good, let's add him to the game. This is how the TV man looks in game, he's a lot taller than I thought he would be. Similar to the TV woman and the Titan TV man, I made it so the TV man flashes between nothing and one of the faces he does as well. In the actual series, the TV man is able to stun the toilets with his screen, so I gave the TV man a ranged attack which stuns low level toilets just like the large cameraman does when he hits them. The attack itself doesn't do much damage, but if there are other alliance members around, it allows them to easily finish the toilets off. The TV man is also able to teleport when he gets low, just like the TV woman. And if you kill the TV man, he drops an ender pearl because he's an enderman and I just didn't change it. Overall, I don't think the TV man turned out that bad, but he's also not amazing, so because of that, I'm gonna give him an 8 out of 10. Next character I'll make is the moist critical toilet, and I'm gonna use a creeper to make him. Let's start by removing all this stuff, because we don't need it, and we're gonna take the regular toilet's body and copy it over here. Now let's color the whole toilet a dark grayish color. Now let's color his neck for now, and it's time to work on his upgrades. First, we'll put this gray thing on the front like this, and let's add some of the black spots as well. And now let's change the shape of the toilet seat a bit like this. Next, we'll give him the computer part on the top. Now let's expand this part out a bit like this. And now let's add a few more details to the bottom one as well. Next, I'm going to add his jetpack. So let's add a big cube like this. Now let's add some more details to it so it isn't just a black cube. Next, let's add more armor on the bottom part here. And we'll give him the small cannons that he has on each side like this. And now let's add the big cannon here as well. And we'll just copy this to the other side. Obviously, this creeper head doesn't look like moist critical. So let's color this part in. And we'll start to give him some hair like this. Now let's draw his eyes. And I'm going to make them look like this because he has a lot of pupils. Next, we'll give him a nose, and we'll also add some facial hair on the bottom. Now, let's add his glasses over top. Okay, I don't think that looks bad. Let's add him to the game. This is how the moist critical toilet looks in game. He definitely looks good. Well, the toilet part looks good, but it kind of looks like he has buck teeth. In the series, the Jesus toilet mimics the TV attack, so I gave him the same attack that the TV woman and TV man have. And this makes him pretty powerful as he's able to take out multiple large cameramen at once. Not enough to take out the Titan and speaker man though. If you kill the Jesus toilet, he drops nothing, which is weird because I thought I gave him a drop, and if you listen closely, you can hear him making a woo sound. This is the moist critical toilet's reaction to you subscribing. Overall, the moist critical toilet doesn't look that bad, so I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the glitch toilet, and I'll use a chicken to make him. First, we'll delete the parts we don't need, and now let's copy the toilet over from the regular toilet. Now let's color the toilet a really dark gray. Next, let's add a plate on the front like this, and we'll just connect these plates to the toilet down here, and now I'm just gonna add the little things that stick out on the side like this. Okay, that looks good. Now let's work on the back of the toilet. First, I'm gonna change the shape a little bit like this, and now I'm going to add this gray thing he has up here, and we'll just add another layer underneath, and then we'll add one more layer like this, and we'll color this one darker gray. Now let's add a long piece right here, and we'll copy this over to the other side too, and next we'll add another piece on the side like this, and I think that looks pretty good. Now it's time to work on his head. First, let's color in his neck, and then we'll color his head as well, and now I'm going to give him some creepy eyes like this. Next, we'll add his mouth on the bottom, and we'll also put the little amount of hair he has up here. Okay, that looks really bad, so let's just change the whole face a little bit, and we'll give him some ears like this, and I think that looks better. Let's add him to the game. This is the glitch toilet in game. I'm not sure if giving him this head was a good idea. I also love how he makes chicken noises. It just doesn't fit him at all. The glitch toilet is ridiculously fast, so it kind of looks like he's glitching, and I also made his head animation look like it's glitching as well, instead of being smooth like the other toilets. When the glitch toilet attacks another mob, he starts glitching around like crazy, sort of like his super speed attack in the real series, and he's actually able to kill the titan speaker man by making him attack himself because he's glitching so much. If you kill the glitch toilet, he drops nothing, but this time it was intentional because I wanted to make him drop a glitched item, but it just didn't work. Overall, I think the glitch toilet looks creepy, but he's still pretty good, so because of that, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Next, I'll make the ninja cameraman, and I'm going to use a husk because I'm running out of villager hating mobs. First, let's just use the original cameraman body to start, and I'm gonna remove his headphones because I don't know why I even added these. Now let's move his head up a little bit, and we'll also make his neck bigger. Next, I'm gonna color his camera a dark grayish color, and I'll color this thing slightly lighter, and now let's work on his body. First, I'll change the color of his tie area like this, and I'm going to make the whole suit a lighter gray, so let's just color this in, and then we'll color his pants in as well to match it, and now let's move the coat back, and we'll color it darker gray as well. Next, I'm gonna color his hands black, and I'm also gonna give him some fingers as well because the old cameraman didn't have them. And now let's start to add the light things under his camera, and we'll just 
add another piece and color it lighter gray as well. Okay, now let's just add some extra details to his suit. And I'm gonna give him some texture like this. Now, finally, let's add his plungers. And he's going to have one in each hand, so let's copy this thing over. And that looks pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the ninja cameraman in game. He basically looks like a normal cameraman. The only difference is he's wielding a couple of plungers, unlike this guy who has nothing. The plunger cameraman is slightly stronger than a regular cameraman, as he's able to one-shot a regular toilet. He also does good against a spider toilet as well, but the glitch toilet is definitely his weakness. I also made the ninja cameraman the first mob to drop a custom item, as he drops a plunger. The plunger does one more damage than a netherite sword, making it a really useful weapon. It also means you can one-shot toilets with it, making them no longer able to terrorize me. The ninja cameraman also has a thumbs-up animation, which is more advanced this time because he puts the plunger away first. Don't ask how he gets it back though, he must be magical. I'm going to give the ninja cameraman a 9 out of 10. I just really like his plungers, I don't know why. Next I'm gonna make the assailant astro toilet, and I'll use an allay cause allay is kinda close to alien I guess. First I'm going to delete all this stuff we don't need, and like usual let's take the body from the regular toilet. This time I'm going to color the toilet a brownish color, and I'm just gonna remove the bottom of the toilet to add a new bottom instead. So let's add some circular layers on the bottom like this, and we'll color them each a different shade of brown. This kinda looks like a badlands biome. Now let's give the toilet some water up here, and it's time to start working on the ring that goes around him. I'm going to color the square orange like this, and then I'm gonna make another part inside which is light gray. Now let's add the piece that connects it to his body right here, and I'm just gonna copy this thing all around his body so it's orbiting him. Okay, now that that's done, it's time to work on his head. I'm going to keep the allay head this time because we saw what happened last time, and we'll start adding a brown helmet all around his head, and I'm just gonna put the black stripes that he has on top of it, and that doesn't look that bad. Now let's add his cannon. So let's just copy a bunch of these squares until it kind of looks like a cannon, and we'll just color this one red like this. Now finally, let's add some texture all around his body, and I think this is looking good. Let's see how it looks in game. This is the astro toilet in game. Something definitely looks out of place. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have kept his head as an allay. It looks really weird. But other than that, he turned out pretty good, especially the rotating part. It looks so cool. In the actual series, the assailant astro toilet is able to instantly warp away, so I gave it a chance to randomly warp away in game as well, which is really annoying when you're trying to record it. The Astro Toilet is the only mob that actually flies and doesn't just hover above the ground, which makes him really OP when he gets in a fight. I also made him attack the G-Man Toilet because he is seen doing that in episode 60, but I wouldn't say his strength level is the same as he barely does any damage to the G-Man Toilet. Overall, I think the Astro Toilet looks pretty good other than the Allay Head, so because of that I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Next I'll make the Speaker Woman, and I'll use a Piglin because they both like dancing. Let's start by removing all of this stuff, and we'll make her legs a little bit longer like this. Now let's give her some shoes and we'll color them pink. And now let's just color her pants a dark grayish color. Next I'm gonna change the shape of her body a little bit like this. And I'll also make her arms a different shape as well. And now let's just color all this stuff in. And now it's time to work on her speakers. First I'll make the main speaker like this. And then I'll put the little ones that she has on the side. And now we'll give her the main speaker part in the middle. And let's just add her headphones. And I think that looks pretty good. Now let's just add a few more details. Like this purple part on her shirt. And this extra coat layer on top. And we'll just give her a bit of texture as well, and I think this is looking pretty good. Let's add her to the game. This is how the speaker woman looks in game. She doesn't look that bad. Well, she looks kind of weird with the shaders, but it's fine. In the actual series, the speaker woman dances while she walks, so I made it so that when the speaker woman walks, her arms go up in the air, so it looks like she's dancing. Well, kind of. It doesn't really work. And of course, when you right-click the speaker woman, she does the regular speaker dance as well. The speaker woman is very powerful and can one-shot the low-level toilets, and I also made her attack animation look like she's loading her speakers up with knives, but it also looks like she's hitting the gritty. If the speaker woman dies, she drops a chirp music disc because there isn't a pink music disc, so red is kind of the same. And overall, I think the speaker woman turned out okay, but she definitely wasn't the best, so I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10. Next character I'll make is the Mutant Skibbity Toilet, and I'm going to use the Wandering Trader, even though I already used him, because that didn't really count. First, let's get rid of the stuff we don't need, and I'm gonna use the large speaker man's body, so let's just paste a head on like this. Now let's start to change the shape of his body, and we'll color this part white because it's going to be a toilet. Now let's extend this toilet part out a bit more. And we'll add these outlines which will be the seat like this. Next let's give him a new tie because we got rid of the old one. And now it's time to make him look a bit more mutated. First I'm going to move his arms down and I'm going to rotate them a bit to make them stick out. Next we'll give him a neck piece like this. And we'll start adding the pipe that comes out of the back of his head. Let's just add some gray spots all around the toilet like this. And we'll color the tie a little bit more red. And now let's add some texture on the back part and on the neck like this. And I think this is looking pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is how the mutant toilet looks in game. This guy definitely looks 
pretty weird. Especially the head part, which not only rotates, but now it changes size as well. In the series, the Skibbity Man is meant to be really fast, so I made the Mutant Toilet run really fast in game as well. This also makes him really powerful as nothing is really able to get away from him. The only way to get away from him is by subscribing. If you kill the Mutant Toilet, he drops a zombie head, because Mutant is kind of the same category as zombies. I don't really know, it's all I could think of. And overall, I think the Mutant Toilet looks pretty good, but there are a few problems like this weird texture on the back. So because of that, I'm going to give the Mutant Toilet a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the Large TV Man. And I'll use an Ender Dragon, because I used an Enderman for the regular TV Man. First, let's delete all the dragon parts, because we don't need those. And I'm gonna use the regular TV Man as a base, so let's copy all of this over here. Next, I'm gonna make his body bigger, so let's do that. Now, let's add a new coat over the top as well. And next, I'm gonna work on his arms. I'm gonna make the arms a little bit bigger, so let's just do that. Now, I'm gonna color both of these arms the same color as his suit. Okay, now that's looking pretty good, it's time to give him his TVs. First, I'm going to add the thing that connects them to his body right here, and we'll color this whole thing a lighter gray. And now let's remove all this stuff and change the head into a TV. Now let's add some outlines on the side, and we'll color them a darker black like this. And we'll also color in his noisy TV screen. Now let's just add a stick coming out from the side like this, and we'll just put a smaller TV that looks the same coming off of it. And now let's copy this over to all four sides like this, and I think that's looking really good. Let's add him to the game. This is how the large TV man looks in game. I have to say he's definitely one of my favorites out of the TV people. I will say it's kind of weird that he makes ender dragon noises though. The large TV man is really powerful as he's able to kill multiple mutant toilets at the same time. I can't really remember if that's accurate or not, so I'm sorry if it isn't. The large TV man also has the same attack as the TV woman as it's the closest thing I'm able to make to his actual attack in the series. Also similar to the TV woman, if the large TV man gets low on health, he will teleport away before he can be killed. Although he doesn't teleport really far. Overall, I think the large TV man turned out pretty good in game. I especially like his TVs. So because of that, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 because he deserves it. Next, I'll make the detainer astro toilet. And I'm gonna use a wandering trader llama to make him. First, let's remove all the parts we don't need like usual. And then I'll take some of the parts of the assailant astro toilet and copy it over. Now let's color the top part of the toilet a brownish gray like this. And now let's just add another smaller part on the bottom here. And that looks pretty good. So now it's time to add the circle part he has on the bottom. First, I'm gonna make a rectangle like this, and now let's just copy this rectangle over and over again until it kind of looks like a circle. Next, I'm gonna color in the toilet water right here, and I'll move the llama head down so it looks like it's coming out of the water. Next, I'm gonna give him a helmet because the astro toilets wear helmets. And I'm not gonna lie, that kind of looks like it's supposed to be hair, but it's fine. Now, I'm gonna give him his arms, starting with the one on the top, and I'm gonna add a claw looking thing that's attached to the arm, and I think that looks fine, so now let's work on his right arm. Now, we'll add the clamp thing he has on the end here, and we'll copy one on the other side so it looks a bit better. Let's do the same things we did for the last arm, except this time we're gonna give him a knife attached on the end, and let's just add the little things that come off the sides like this, and I think that looks good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the detainer astro toilet in game. I was definitely expecting the llama head to look a bit worse. It's a lot better than his knife at least, which kind of looks like a peeled banana that is spinning. Similar to the assailant astro toilet that we made last time, the detainer astro toilet also has the ability to randomly warp away, and once again this doesn't really help when you are trying to record him. The detainer astro toilet is also able to fly just like the assailant one, but this time it doesn't really help him because most of the time he just forgets to attack his enemies. If you kill the detainer astro toilet, he drops a chorus fruit because when you eat them you teleport just like he teleports. And the detainer astro toilet also attacks the g-man toilet just like the assailant did, but it doesn't really seem like he's gonna kill him anytime soon. Overall, the detainer astro toilet didn't turn out that great, so because of that I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the rock it toilet. And I'll use a bee to make him because it can fly. I don't know, I'm running out of mobs. First, I'm gonna delete the legs off the bee. Now let's color the toilet a dark grayish color, and we'll change the bottom of the toilet a little bit like this. Now let's remove the toilet seat, and we're gonna change the back of the toilet as well. So let's just make this piece bigger, and now we'll copy it a few times and rotate it like this, and let's just change the shape of the top part and move it as well. Now that looks pretty good, so let's add the wall he has in the back, and we'll color the wall the same color as the toilet like this. Now let's also give him a floor just like like the wall. Now this is looking pretty good, let's add his rockets. I'm going to make a small square like this, and then I'm gonna make a smaller one on the inside. Now let's copy this until we have three of them on each side, and now let's color the middle piece a slightly lighter gray, and we'll also add a little bit of texture like this. Now let's give the bee a neck, which makes no sense, but it looks better than if he's floating, and we'll also add a helmet just like the astro toilets had. Now let's just add some fire coming out of the rockets, and I think that's looking really good. Let's add him to the game. This is how the rocket toilet looks in game. Something about this looks kind of weird. Using the bee as the head was fine, but it 
kind of looks like the bee has Elvis hair, I'm not gonna lie. But other than that, the rocket toilet actually looks pretty cool. The rocket toilet is incredibly powerful, and he's able to one-shot most of the mid-level alliance members. He also makes an explosion every time he attacks something, and the only real problem is that he dies most of the time he attacks. That's similar to what happened in the actual series, though. If you kill the rocket toilet, he drops a firework rocket because that was in his name, and it's kind of funny. But I have a feeling you won't be killing the rocket toilet, as he does a ton of damage. Overall, I think the rocket toilet doesn't look that bad, but he just looks kind of boring, so because of that, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Next, I'll make a speaker strider, and I'm gonna use a strider to make it, because it's in the name. First, let's remove the hair, because we don't need it. And next, I'll change the shape of the legs a bit like this. Now, let's move these legs way further apart. And we'll shape the main strider head into a speaker like this. Next, I'm gonna make another part of the leg. And we'll make this part a bit thinner, and we'll also add a thinner part on the bottom. Now, I'm gonna copy this leg onto each side like this. And next, let's add some cubes on the back of the speaker as well. Now, I'm gonna color the entire speaker dark gray. And I'm gonna color the legs a little bit lighter gray. And now, it's time to work on the details on the speaker. First, let's add some walls on the sides like this. This. And we'll add the main speaker thing here in the middle. Now let's just add a few more walls going the other way. And we'll just add a cube on top of the speaker part like this. Next, I'm gonna color in all these parts different colors of gray. And I'm gonna add a few more black parts on the side. Now let's give the speaker some extra detail like this. And I think that's looking pretty good. Let's see how it looks in game. This is the speaker strider in game. He actually looks really good. Not that it was very hard to make him look good though. It's not a very complicated design. Similar to the strider toilet I made a while ago, I made it so you can ride the speaker strider strider as well. Which looks kind of weird, but this time I had a reason to do it because the speaker striders are controlled by speaker men, so this is kind of the same thing. The speaker strider is also able to climb walls like a normal spider can, but the only problem is I forgot he takes fall damage. If you kill a speaker strider, you get a jukebox, which I'm pretty sure I've used as a drop before, but this time it makes a lot more sense. And if the speaker strider gets in a fight, I just gave him the regular speaker attack, but for some reason he waits until he is really close to use it. Overall, I think the speaker strider looks really good, so I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Next character I'll make is the airstrike toilet, and I'm going to use a blaze to make him because they can both fly. First, let's get rid of these things because we don't need them, and I'm going to use the body from the regular toilet, so let's copy that on. Next, let's put the shield thing that he has in the front here, and now let's start to work on the first rocket underneath. Now, let's copy this thing over to the other side. Next, let's make a fan like this, and we'll just copy this fan all around until there are six fans. Alright, now this body is looking good, it's time to give him some color. First, let's color these shield things a little bit bit lighter gray, and we'll color his rockets a few different colors as well, and we'll just color the toilet water blue, and now it's time to give him a head. Now we'll give him some hair like this, and I'll just give him a mouth and some eyes, and finally let's give him some headphones on top of his head. Alright, I think that looks pretty good, let's see how he looks in game. This is how the airstrike toilet looks in game, this guy actually looks pretty cool. I will say it's kinda weird that he makes blaze noises though, they are a bit loud. The airstrike toilet isn't the most powerful toilet in the game, but he's still pretty good, as he's literally able to one shot a large speaker man. It's not the same for a titan speaker man though, as he's actually immune to his attacks just like in the actual series. Subscribe if you want to be immune like the titan speaker man. The airstrike toilets are usually seen working in groups, so I made it so that there is a chance that three of them spawn when one of them gets attacked. This makes it really annoying to kill them, especially if you are using your fist. If you kill the airstrike toilet, he drops a TNT because that is the closest thing in the game to an airstrike, and overall I think the airstrike toilet turned out pretty good other than the blaze noises. They are very annoying. So because of this, I decided to give the airstrike toilet a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the new police toilet. And I'll use a guardian because it has guard in the name, and guards are kind of like police. First, let's remove all this stuff that we don't need. And we'll just copy a toilet body with a jetpack over top like this. Now let's color this entire body a greenish gray color. And I'm gonna add one of these shields in the front like this. Now let's work on the thing that goes over top of his guns right here. And we'll just copy the gun underneath like this. Alright, now let's add a cube on the top that is gonna be his lights, and we'll color one side red, and the other one will be blue. Okay, now this is looking good, so let's start to color some stuff in. We'll color a bunch of stuff dark gray like this. Now let's color his toilet water blue, and we'll color his neck in as well. And now it's time to work on his head. And now let's add his hat on the top. Next, we'll give him a mouth, and we'll add a mustache on top. And let's give him a nose, and we'll also give him some eyes above that. And I think that is looking good. Let's add him to the game. This is the police toilet in game. I would say he definitely looks pretty good. The police toilet also makes some pretty weird noises just like the airstrike toilet, except this time they are kind of scary. The police toilet is really powerful when he's able to attack and isn't just missing all his hits, and he even freezes his enemies when he hits them because he's placing them under arrest. Officer, I didn't kill those skibbity toilets, I swear. The police skibbity toilet is pretty fast as you can see, which makes it really difficult to run from the police
this as well. I guess the only way to avoid going to jail is by fighting back. If you kill the police toilet, he drops a debug stick, which is supposed to be like a police baton. I don't really know. And overall, I don't think the police skibbity toilet turned out that bad. The only thing that really needs to be fixed is the scary noises he makes. I had no idea Guardian sounded like that. But yeah, I think he looks good, so because of that, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 as well. Next, I'll make the knife speaker man. And I'm going to use a piglin brute because we made the speaker woman from a piglin. So let's delete all this stuff because we're gonna use a regular speaker man's body. Next, I'm gonna color his suit a way darker gray. Now let's color his undershirt a dark reddish color instead of gray. And now let's just make this layer dark gray as well. And let's add some red detail to his arms like this. Alright, now it's time to color in his speaker, so we'll just make his speaker a lot darker. Now let's color the actual speaker part a really dark red. Now let's give him a knife in his hand right here. And we'll also copy this knife into the other hand as well. Next, we'll start to texture his speaker again, just like we had it before. Okay, I think this guy's looking good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the knife speaker man in game. He actually looks pretty good. He also looks a lot more intimidating than a regular speaker man, despite being made from the same body. The knife speaker man seems to follow the trend of the previous two mobs as he makes weird noises as well. I don't know how I keep picking all the weird sounding mobs. Similar to the other speaker men, if you right click the knife speaker man, he does the speaker man dance, but this time he's holding knives, which seems kind of dangerous. The knife speaker man also sits on regular skibbity toilets after killing them, just like the regular speaker man. There is a new animation for the knife speaker man though, and it happens when he spawns. This makes him 10 times more intimidating. Imagine seeing someone do a backflip before they start chasing you. The knife speaker man is pretty powerful as he's able to defeat some of the higher level toilets easily. And if the knife speaker man dies, he drops a knife. Not an iron sword, that's a knife. Overall, I think the knife speaker man turned out pretty good. I especially like his backflip. So because of this, I'm going to give the knife speaker man an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the jetpack claw toilet. And I'll use a cave spider to make him because he has spider-like legs. First, let's get rid of all the stuff we don't need. And I'll just copy a toilet body onto him like this. Now let's color the entire toilet light gray like this. And we'll start to make his legs a lot smaller. Now let's copy this leg until we have two legs on each side. And now it's time to give him some arms. Now we'll just add this thing that he has on the front of the toilet right here. And we'll start working on his jetpack on the back like this. And that's a pretty good body, so let's color everything in. First, we'll make some parts a little bit lighter gray. And we'll put some dark gray parts on the jetpack. Now let's just color the toilet water blue and we'll color in his neck. Alright, now it's time to give him a head. And let's add some hair on the top like this. Now let's give him a mouth and we'll add his eyes. And next, we'll just give him some eyebrows and a nose like this. Now finally, we'll just add some ears and we'll give him some texture. And I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how it looks in game. This is the jetpack claw toilet in game. It kind of looks like an upgraded version of the strider toilet. Also, just like the strider toilet, the jetpack toilet is really fast, making him pretty scary to get chased by. In the actual series, the jetpack claw toilet ripped the head off a cameraman, so I decided to make it so that the cameraman drops his head when he dies to the claw toilet. The cameraman's head can then be used to one-hit a bunch of different mobs and also break every type of block pretty quickly. It's definitely a very balanced item. If you kill a claw toilet, he drops a goat horn, and you might be wondering why I made him drop this completely random item. I did it because it looks like a claw. That's the only reason. There's nothing special behind it. Overall, I think the claw toilet turned out good, but it's definitely not one of my favorites, so because of this, I decided to give the jetpack claw toilet a 7 out of 10. Next, I'll make a helicopter speaker, and I'm gonna use a bat because they both fly. First, let's remove everything except the body because that's all we need, and we'll make this body a lot larger like this. Now, let's start to add the outline part around the speaker right here. Next, I'm gonna add a thing to connect the propeller to it. Now, let's make the first part of the propeller like this, and we'll copy this propeller around until there are six different propellers. Alright, now the body is pretty much done, so let's start to color it in. First, I'm gonna color this part dark gray, and next I'll color the entire outside an orangish color, and we'll make the actual propellers a lighter gray like this. Okay, now it's time to add the actual speakers to it, and we'll color the speakers a little bit lighter gray. Now we'll make a few more speakers above this one. Now I'm gonna add a light gray outline to all these speakers we added, and I think this is looking good. Let's see how it looks in-game. This is the helicopter speaker in-game. It actually looks really good. Obviously, it wasn't that hard to make it look good, though. It's not a very complicated design. The bat noises that the speaker makes are also really loud, but it kind of makes sense because that's how the helicopter speaker attacks. The helicopter speaker is pretty powerful as its sonic boom attack is able to one-shot low-level toilets. But since the helicopter speaker uses a sound-based attack, it is only able to attack when there are no alliance members around to make sure it doesn't accidentally kill any of them. The helicopter speaker is also able to be ridden just like the strider speaker, but this time you can't really see anything, so it's kind of useless. If you kill the helicopter speaker, it drops a jukebox because it's a speaker, so that's the only thing that makes 
sense. And the helicopter speaker is also not able to be infected by parasite toilets because apparently that isn't possible. Overall, the helicopter speaker turned out pretty good for what it is, and because of that, I decided to give it an 8 out of 10. Next character I'll make is the upgraded mafia toilet, and I'm going to use a wither because the wither is probably in the mafia. First, let's delete all this stuff because we don't need it, and I'm just going to use the body from the claw toilet I made last time, and I'm just going to color the entire toilet a blackish brown color. Now let's add one of these armor plates on the front of the toilet. Now let's color these armor plates dark gray, and now it's time to add some stuff to his hands. First, I'm going to add the saw blade that he has on his right arm, and now let's add the acid cannon at the end of his other arm. Now let's copy paste a jetpack on the back as well because I forgot he has a jetpack. Alright, I think this is a pretty good body, so now let's give him a head. First, I'm going to color his neck and his toilet water. Now let's give him some eyes and a mouth, and we'll also give him a nose and some eyebrows. And now let's just add his hat on top like this, and I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how the mafia toilet looks in game. This guy actually looks pretty good. I will say that the wither noises are kind of weird though, but they also kind of fit him. As you can see, the mafia toilet is massive, and he's also very fast, possibly even faster than the jetpack claw toilet that we made last time. Okay, I wanted to make them have a race, but I somehow made it so they attack each other by accident. The upgraded mafia toilet is also super powerful, as he's able to poison his enemies using the acid gun that he has on his arm. He also gives you nausea with it, as you can see, but this only affects players. I'm pretty sure the Titan cameraman doesn't mind. Subscribe in the upgraded mafia toilet won't give you nausea. If you kill the mafia toilet, he drops a poisonous potato because he has an acid gun, so it's kind of like he poisoned the potato, I guess. And overall, I think the mafia toilet looks pretty good, and I think his abilities are pretty cool. So because of this, I decided to give the mafia toilet an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the surveillance camera woman. And I'll use a zombie piglin because I made the speaker woman from a regular piglin. First, I'm gonna remove some of the stuff that we don't need. Now let's start working on her leg, and we'll copy it over to the other side. Next, I'm gonna change her body a little, and now let's work on her arms. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's time for us to add her head. First, I'm gonna remove these things, and let's just change the shape of her head like this. Now let's give her a neck, and now it's time to add some color. First, let's color her flashlight blue, and we'll color the whole outside of her head black like this. Next, I'm gonna color her shirt gray, and we'll color her pants a slightly darker gray. Next, I'm gonna give her a coat, so let's make a big cube like this, and let's color the outside parts of her coat gray, and we'll just draw the rest in right here. Next, I'm gonna add the gun on the back of her head, and I think this is looking good. Let's add her to the game. This is the camera woman in game. She definitely looks pretty cool. I will say the piglin noises don't really fit her, though. I probably should have changed it to something else. There's also a random pink spot on the back here, but we'll just ignore that. It's not there. The camera woman is pretty fast, just like the mafia toilet is, and just like the mafia toilet, the camera woman also has a ranged attack that puts her in attack mode, as you can see. Her attack also freezes her enemies, making the camera woman actually super powerful. The camera woman can also TP away if she gets low on health, because there is a theory that she is able to teleport in the actual series. If you kill the TV woman, she drops a redstone lamp, because it's supposed to be like her flashlight, and just like the other camera people, if you right-click the camera woman, she does a thumbs up, but this time it's double. Overall, I think the camera woman turned out pretty good. She has a lot of cool features. So, because of this, I decided to give the camera woman an 8 out of 10 as well. Next, I'll make the glitch plunger man, and I'm gonna use a drowned, because I made the original plunger man from a husk. First, let's get rid of this stuff, because we're gonna combine the glitch toilet and plunger man from before. Next, we'll add one of these wing things he has on the back, and we'll just copy it over until there's four of them. Now, let's add one of these leg things in the front here as well, and now let's add these things on the side of the toilet where his arms are supposed to be. Okay, now the glitch toilet is looking a bit better, so it's time to add the plunger man. So, first, we'll color the plunger part of the plunger red, and we'll also color the handle black. Now, let's color the plunger man's camera in light gray, and I think that's good, so now let's change the colors of the glitch toilet a bit. First, I'm gonna color the actual toilet a lighter gray, and I'll color all the shields a lot lighter gray as well. Now, let's color these leg things in the front really light gray, and I think this looks pretty good. Let's see how he looks in-game. This is how the glitch plunger man looks in-game. He looks really good. Just like the other mobs, he makes really weird sounds, but this time it kind of fits him, because it's sort of like a plunger. There is also some kind of bite taken out of his head, but once again, we'll just ignore this. I never make mistakes. You've probably already noticed that the glitch plunger man is able to fly, and he also flies really fast, which makes it super annoying when you're trying to record this guy. The glitch plunger man is also pretty powerful, as he has a ranged attack that is supposed to be him shooting the plungers. Since the glitch plunger man is a repaired version of the original plunger man, I made it so that when the original plunger man dies, the glitch plunger man spawns and takes his spot. This makes him probably one of the most OP mobs in the game that isn't a titan. If you kill the glitch plunger man, he also drops 
drops a ranged plunger attack, which when thrown does a ton of knockback. And overall, I think the glitch plunger man looks pretty cool, so because of this, I decided to give him a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the scientist cameraman, and I'll use a giant to make him because the regular cameraman was a zombie. First, let's get rid of all this stuff because we're just gonna use the regular cameraman's body. Next, we'll add this little flashlight thing that he has under his camera, and I'm just gonna make it so his arms bend as well. Okay, now this is a good body, so let's start to recolor him. First, I'm gonna color his shirt a whitish gray like this. Now, let's color the shirt underneath a lot darker gray like this. And now, let's just color the outside of his camera white. And now, it's time to start giving him his parasite disabler. I don't really know where to put it, so I'm just gonna put it on his back. And we'll just add a bigger part in the front here. Okay, now, let's color this part light gray, and this one will be a bit darker. And I'm just gonna add a few more pieces on the outside like this. And let's just rotate it like this. And I think this is looking good. Let's add him to the game. This is the scientist cameraman in game. He basically looks the same as a regular cameraman. There is one slight difference other than the clothes though, and that's the parasite disabler gun that he has on his back. The scientist cameraman can use this gun to either cure alliance members from infection, or he can use it to permanently freeze parasite toilets on the spot. Yeah, this guy is not so scary anymore. Oh wait, he can still infect them. I also gave the scientist cameraman this cool animation when he shoots the parasite disabler, and there's also another animation which is the basic thumbs up that all the cameramen have. If you kill the scientist cameraman, he drops a parasite disabler gun, and when you have this weapon, you can become the scientist cameraman, as it literally just does the same things that he does. I guess this means that we don't need this guy anymore. Overall, I think the scientist cameraman looks pretty good, and his gun is definitely a cool addition to the game. So because of this, I'm going to give the scientist cameraman an 8 out of 10. Next, I'll make the scientist TV man, and I'm going to use a zombie villager, because we haven't used that yet. First, I'm going to get rid of all this stuff, because we'll just use a TV man's body instead. And now it's time to color him in, so first I'm going to make his coat a really light gray color, and we'll just redraw the front of his coat like this. Next, I'm going to recolor his TV to make it a little bit darker, and we'll just change the TV screen to make it way brighter as well. Now, let's change the color of his shirt underneath to be a darker color, and I'm just going to recolor his pants as well to reset the texture. Next, let's give him some pants right here, and we'll add a belt over top as well. Now, I'm going to add the little thing that he has on front of his shirt right here, and I'm also going to add the antenna thing that comes from behind his TV like this, and I think this turned out really good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the scientist TV man in game. This guy doesn't look too bad. I'm hoping this is what he's supposed to look like though, because you can only really see half of him as of right now. Just like the other TV people, I made it so the scientist TV man's screen flashes between nothing and a face, but since it's unknown what face this guy makes, I just made it the smile like the regular TV man. The scientist TV man also has a teleport ability, but unlike the other TV people, he just uses it instantly after being attacked because the scientists aren't known for fighting. According to theories, it is possible that the scientist TV man heals alliance members with his TV screen, so I decided to make it so that he can heal alliance members when he hits them as well. It's kind of weird because it makes them attack him back, but at least he's able to teleport away. Overall, I think the scientist TV man looks pretty cool, but he's definitely not one of my favorite mobs. So because of this, I decided to give him a 7 out of 10. Next character I'll make is the new Titan TV man, and I'm gonna take the old Titan TV man and upgrade him. First, let's get rid of some of his previous upgrades, and we'll change the shape of his body a little bit like this. Next, I'm gonna change his arms a little bit, and we'll also make his main TV a little bit wider. Now, let's start to add some TVs on the side of his arms. Now, let's add the smaller TVs that are behind his main one. Alright, now this looks pretty good, so let's start to color him in. First, I'm gonna color all the TV screens a light green, and we'll just color the sides of the TVs really dark gray. Now, let's color in his belt even darker, and we'll also color in his shirt a similar color to the sides of the TVs. And now, we'll start to add some detail to his coat. Next, let's give him a core in the middle like this. Now, let's add a bit more detail to the top of his head. Alright, I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in-game. This is how the upgraded Titan TV man looks in-game. He honestly looks really good. He's definitely a lot better than the previous two versions of the TV man, no offense to them. The upgraded Titan TV man is incredibly strong, as he's able to destroy the G-Man Toilet 3.0. I also added an attack animation that is just his head flying off because he does this in the actual series. The Titan TV man also strikes lightning when he attacks, as you can see, and this is kind of annoying with how fast he attacks. Just like all of the other TV people, the upgraded Titan TV man is able to teleport away if he gets low on health. But I don't think that's ever gonna happen, as the Titan TV man has 500 hearts. If you manage to kill the Titan TV man, he drops an energy blade, and if you use this energy blade, you will find that it does a ton of damage. And it also strikes lightning just like the Titan TV man's attack does. Overall, I think the upgraded Titan TV man turned out really good, even though the shaders removed a lot of his detail. So because of this, I'm going to give the Titan TV man a 9 out of 
of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the G-Man 4.0 toilet. And I'll use the G-Man 3.0 that I made as a base. First, I'm gonna get rid of some of the stuff we don't need. And let's change the shape of the back of the toilet like this. Next, I'm gonna remove some of these cannons that he has. And I'll just add these platform things that he has underneath the top cannons. And we'll also copy the old cannons to the bottom like this. Next, I'm gonna change the bottom of the toilet a bit to make it more thick. And I'm also gonna add these things that he has on the bottom as well. And I'm gonna put even more cannons on the top of the toilet like this. And I'm just gonna add his core in the middle here. And I think this is good. Now it's time to color this guy in. First, I'm gonna color the back of the toilet really dark gray. And I'm gonna color the actual toilet part a lot lighter gray. And we'll color the core light yellow. Next, I'm gonna color in a few more of these random parts like this. Now let's add a bit more detail to the bottom right here. And I think this is looking pretty good. Let's add the G-Man toilet to the game. This is how the G-Man toilet 4.0 looks in game. I think he's significantly better than 3.0. I will say the back of his toilet looks a little bit weird though. I definitely prefer the old design. The G-Man 4.0 is really fast as you can see and he is also way more powerful than the G-Man 3.0. Despite him being very powerful though, he is still no match for the new upgraded Titan TV Man. The Titan TV Man barely lost any health. It's gonna take like 10 of these guys to take him out. If you kill the G-Man toilet, he drops his sunglasses and upon wearing these sunglasses, you will become immune to low-level TV attacks. Just ignore the fact that the glasses are over top of my forehead though. I honestly have no idea how this even happened. Overall, I think the G-Man 4.0 looks pretty good, but there are a few things I don't really like about him. So because of this, I decided to give the G-Man toilet an 8 out of 10. The next character I'll make is the real scientist toilet. And since I've made the toilet mech already, we'll just start from this. So first, let's get rid of the stuff we don't need. And I'm gonna rotate his arms to turn them into legs. Next, I'm gonna make the toilet bowl a lot wider. Now let's change the shape of the back of the toilet a little bit. And I'm just gonna start adding his cannon on the top like this. And I'll just copy a jetpack from one of the previous toilets on the back. Okay, now I think this is looking good, so let's start to give him some color. First, I'm gonna color the entire toilet dark gray, and I'll just color in the jetpack a bit darker gray. Now let's color the details on the jetpack a lot lighter gray. Now let's color in a few more random things, and I'll put a yellow spot in the middle of the cannon, and I'm just gonna remove everything from around his face because I can't really tell what his face is supposed to look like, and I think this is looking good. Let's see how he looks in-game. This is how the scientist toilet looks in-game. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like this guy. It's probably because of the default skeleton head that I gave him, even though it actually kind of looks like his real head. But this is the scientist toilet and not the scientist toilet mech, so he's not really expected to look as good. Since the scientist toilet controls the scientist toilet mech in the series, I decided to make it so that when the upgraded scientist toilet dies, the regular scientist toilet spawns in. The regular scientist is also afraid of most alliance members, so he will just run away instead of fighting. He is able to use a ranged attack on some of the enemies that he finds easy to kill though, and as you can see, it actually does a lot of damage. The scientist toilet is very slow when he's walking as you can see, and this is just because I read that he's slow, I'm not really sure if that's even true. If you kill the scientist toilet, he drops an enchanted golden apple, and overall I don't think the scientist toilet looks that good, he just looks kinda boring. So because of this, I decided to give him a 6 out of 10. Next I'm gonna make the G-Man clones. The first clone I'll make is the laser ring G-Clone, and for this one we're obviously going to use the G-Man to start. First I'm gonna get rid of some of the stuff we don't need, and I'll move these shields to the front of him like this. Now let's change one of these cannons up a little bit, and we'll just remove all the other ones and replace them with the new one I made, and we'll just start to add a jetpack on the back like this, and I think this is looking good, so it's time to add some color. First I'm gonna make the cannons slightly lighter gray, next I'm gonna start coloring the actual toilet a lot darker gray, now let's move these cannons around because they're kinda close together, and we'll just make the glasses the same as the G-Man 4.0, and I think this looks good, let's see how it looks in game. This is how the laser ring G-Clone looks in game, I'm pretty sure I made him a little too big. But other than that, he looks pretty good, and also scary, this guy is armed with way too many cannons. The laser ring G-Clone is able to move pretty fast as you can see, and he also has a ranged attack that is similar to the regular G-Man toilet. Actually, it's exactly the same, I didn't bother changing it. If you kill the laser ring G-Clone, he drops the G-Man sunglasses just like the G-Man 4.0. And overall, I don't think the first G-Clone turned out that bad, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Next, let's make the quad rocketeer G-Clone. So first, let's start from the laser ring clone. First, I'm gonna remove all of his cannons like this, and we'll just give him a new shield in front that is a little bit more flat. Next, I'm gonna add the big thing on the side like this. Now, let's start adding the quad launcher on the bottom, and we'll just copy this over to the other side so there's two. And now, it's time to color this in. First, I'm gonna color these strips dark blue, and now let's color in the quad launchers. Next, I'm gonna color his shield dark gray, and I'm just gonna change the shape of the back of the toilet like this, and I think this is looking good. Let's see it in game. This is how the quad rocketeer G-clone looks in game. I definitely
definitely think he looks a lot better than the previous clone. Not much is different between this clone and the Laser Ring G clone other than the appearance, but the Quad Rocketeer G clone actually has a slightly different attack, although both of them look pretty similar. The Quad Rocketeer G clone also drops a piece of TNT when it dies, because he has a bunch of rocket launchers, so it just made sense. Overall, I think the Quad Rocketeer looks a lot better than the Laser Ring G clone, so because of this, I decided to give him an 8 out of 10. Now let's make the Quad Buzzsaw G clone. First, I'm gonna remove the things on the side like this, and now we'll start to give him an arm on the side, and let's add the buzzsaw on the end of the arm like this. Now let's color this arm a bunch of different grays, and we'll just copy this arm all around until he has four of them, and that's literally all we had to do. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how the Quad Buzzsaw G clone looks in game. I'm not really sure if I like this guy or not. I will say that he looks better than the first G clone though, but that's probably because I can actually see him and not just a bunch of cannons. The difference between this G clone and the others is that this G clone is only able to melee attack instead of a ranged attack, which makes sense considering he has a buzzsaw toilet, I don't really know how he would be shooting anything. If you kill the quad buzzsaw G clone, he drops a netherite sword, and this is because it's supposed to be like a saw, I don't really know. Overall, I think the quad buzzsaw G clone looks a lot better than the laser ring G clone, but not as good as the quad rocketeer. So because of this, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. Subscribe if you want me to make more skibbity mobs.